guys, it's Kiki. And today we are gonna have fun with binders. I mean, I know you guys get excited about stuff like binders and organization like I do, so I feel like I don't have to be shy about it here today. Um, I'm super proud to show you my warranties and manuals binders. And I'll explain to you why there's two of them and exactly how I put them together and what purpose they serve. First, um, I'm gonna show you the before picture. So here it is. It is just a giant bag where I put every manual that I ever got with a purchased item. And I don't think I even used to keep them on purpose until I lived with someone who kept all theirs in like a hanging filing system, which I was so impressed by until I saw that they did it once and never kept it up. They never made new files or anything. Um, so this system to me is a little bit better because it's so easy to maintain. Um, so it's really simple. I got this binder. Well, I should say it's really simple, but it actually took me a while to get it just how I wanted it. So I got these binders at Staples. They're the Staples Better Binders in two inches. I originally had gotten a three inch binder and I just found that it was like, I don't know, it felt wobbly and insecure in my hands because it was so fat and most of the bulk um, is in the middle and so the ends would like squeeze together like that and I just didn't like the way it felt. So I thought about doing two two and a half inch binders, but I guess they don't make a two and a half inch. So two two inch binders is what I landed on. I just went into Word and made a cover for it that said warranties and manuals. That's nothing really exciting. I did make a label for the side. So um, one of the cool things about the Better Binders is how it um, has this guy that you actually access from the inside. You can pull this little tab out. And I used my brother brand P-Touch machine to make the label. I got this at Costco, but it was a while ago. It was over a year ago. I don't remember how much it cost, but I know that you can get these or similar ones you know, at Target, at Staples, at Office Depot. And what I used was a 12 millimeter uh, black ink on white, you know, sticky paper to make this label. And I just typed it all out at once, warranties and manuals, and then I just snipped it in the middle. Um, and the reason I did that is because, you know, it leaves a wide margin at the beginning and at the end of every single thing you print. So if you print more all at once, it just leaves the regular spacing you've put in. So you can just, if you don't need um, any margins on either side, I actually, because I actually printed both of these at once. Warranties and manuals, warranties and manuals, hit print once and then snipped them all to fit. Okay, so what's even more exciting, of course, is what's on the inside. And what's on the inside is, drum roll please, binder pockets. These are amazing. They're the best solution that I found. And I'm gonna change the camera angle and then give you a better look at exactly why they're great and how I put them together. Okay, so here's my binder a little closer up. You open it up and what you see is I have five gusseted binder pockets in each one. So I'm gonna pop this open and show you exactly what one looks like. It's just a clear pocket with a little bit of Velcro to keep all of the contents secure. And what's great about it is that it's gusseted so it can fit larger items um, or larger, thicker manuals, and it also smushes down. And then, of course, it has the rings to put it in a three-ring binder. And then this has its own, um, I don't think you call that gusseting, but it, it has pre-perforated so that if you make it really thick, you know, the, the, the flap will still close. Now, I got these on Amazon. I could not find anything exactly like this in my local staples or anything. Um, I, the most similar ones that I found were over $2, and I got this pack of 10 for $16 and change on Amazon. And the brand is Sea Line Products Inc. And what's super cool about it is these guys are biodegradable. So how interesting and awesome is that? 
um, because you know, plastic stays in landfills forever. So then after, after I got those pockets, I basically took my manuals and sorted them into different categories and I had to sort and resort as I was trying to fit it into exactly the 10 envelopes that I had. So the categories I ended up with were TV and DVD, then basically all other electronics, beauty items, stuff from cameras, juicers, believe it or not, warranted its own pocket. Part of that is because every juicer comes with a really thick recipe book, so it just needed that extra space. Air, uh, I know it seems like a funny category. It's like purifying, heating, cooling, humidifying, etc. Home, so this is like just miscellaneous catch-all, you know, shelving units, um, some weights that I have, to work out with cleaning so this is like my um, just any cleaning item my vacuum cleaner um, actually this manual was too tall to fit into the binder pocket so this got its own sheet protector um, all things coffee related have a lot of different kinds of coffee makers and things and then anything that ho houses itself in my kitchen so that's like my blender um, um, like a piece of furniture that I have in there, like a rolling cart. Um, and then these binders do have a, p a plastic pocket on both the front and back. So you can see from me turning it, I mean, I, it doesn't bother me enough to do anything about it. Although I had thought about um, taping where this seam is. Tell me if you guys have ever done that to try to make the... Um, the turning of something smoother. The nice thing about the gusseted binder pocket is like you can see how thick this one is and I can just, you know, grab it in my hand and turn it quickly. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is how I made the divider tabs at the top. So all these divider tabs I made at the top are just these Avery labels. They come just in three colors like that. They are the Avery Write On Tabs Series 1614X. And of course you can use any ones you want. And then I just used clear laminating tape with black ink in my P-Touch, in my label maker. And I just centered each one. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.